Kwa jana walisema uongo mwingine at we have given Mombasa 60 billion worth of road. Let me explain to you. Barabara ambazo zinajengwa sasa Mombasa. Airport road 2.1 billion funded by the UK government. UK aid through Trademark East Africa. Wametoa hiyo pesa ya kujenga hiyo barabara baada ya kuangalia na kuomba sisi wengine na watu tukaomba msaada sivyo yes. then unakuja hapa unasema ho oh, huu ni mrara jubili kwani wewe uhuru ulikuwa president wa united kingdom hiyo <laughs> pesa imetoka uk sisi tunaulizanga ile pesa ambayo imetoka kwa mkono ya jubili ni gani ile pesa ambayo ni kodi yetu and it's not it's not rocket science my friend unaweza kusema ile kodi kiwango hichi kimetoka ni pesa hizi na tumetumia kwa mradi huu. Pana kuja hapa kupeleka mabilioni kwingine ukija hapa unaleta unasema pesa za msaada za jubili. Za msaada ni za msaada. Tuziweke kando, let us separate pesa ya msaada na pesa ambayo imetoka kwa kodi ya Wakenya. I mean you can't come here and lecture us. Kwingine ukienda unapeleka miradi mikubwa mikubwa. Kija hapa unatusomea sisi. Mimi si mtoto wako mbe. Wazi kunisomea. Na siku hizo wamekuwa the gurus of propaganda. Wao kazi yao ni propaganda. Na sisi hatuna ubaya. You know hata mimi nikisimama niseme kwamba bandari utendakazi wake usipelekwe na Ivasha ubakishwe hapa. It is the same way I would support the people of Naivasha wakisema leo utendakazi wa value addition ya maua wanayopanda kule iondelewe ipelekwe mali mwingine. I will defend them as well. Because that is the main source of employment in Naivasha. Just like the port here, it is the core opportunity and investment kwetu hapa. Sivyo? So you can't do that. You can't close the operations here and alafu uambie oh we are trying to ease or to, to to ease the operations. We're trying to create efficiency. So we're moving it away from here and take it to Naivasha. I mean, come on, man. They want to force it mali kijia na meli inatoka kwa meli inaingia kwa train kwa train hata igusi ardhi ya Mombasa direct paka Naivasha we all must stand together na to defend hii bandari yetu hapa sahi from the time they've been here uhuru na ruto all they do is to defend at yo ni dry port ho oh, atuamishi bahari we not fools we know very well amuamishi bahari ya mwezi lakini mimi najua mko na uwezo wapi mngejaribu hiyo ni kazi ya Mwenyezi Mungu. But I can tell you the way I know Uhuru and Ruto kama angekuwa kuna uwezo wa kuhamisha hii bahari pia wangejaribu. So for us what we want to do is not only kwamba tuwalinda atulindi bahari tu, tuwalinda manufaa ya bahari. And that is what they want to take away from us. And we will not accept it. We will not Hawezi kuja kuchukua utendakazi wa bandari. Tunajua tena anatukuja kusema ho, gavana wenu ni zuzu. Mwambie shule ni bure. Mimi wacha niwe zuzu lakini nitatetea watu wangu. Wewe wewe kuwa mwerevu endelea kuibia wa Kenya. Kwa sababu ya zile challenges ambazo tunapata katika maeneo yetu. Alafu vile vile tuombe maeneo haya yetu ya nyali na tuombe taifa tutafungua milango ya kuweka wazi na kukubali kushauriwa usiwe ni kiongozi wa kupiga kifua na kiburi kwamba hutaki ushauri na kuna umuhimu tusambue huu tupo wakati gani kwa sababu uh, mwanzo natoa shukrani kwa komiti ambayo iko hapa kwa governor kuandaa mkutano huu pamoja na mtawi without wasting much of our time, I will give him the opportunity to straight away get to the